I had a blast at the assembly today. So yeah, I would highly recommend it. It was a terrific experience for all concerned. It was awesome. The kids had a wonderful time. They were laughing. They enjoyed themselves. We raised more money for UNICEF. They had a great time. Yeah, awesome. And you should be so proud of yourself. So thank you guys so much. Talking a bit about UNICEF and about the insidious problem of malaria. Hopefully we're also going to have a little bit of fun as well. It was awesome. The kids had a wonderful time. They were laughing. They enjoyed themselves. It was something that they chose to take part in. It wasn't something that they were required. Um, often they go to these events and they kind of try and sneak out of the school and uh, it's an opportunity to miss class as opposed to take part in an event. But they took part in the event. They were there, they were enthusiastic. Uh, we had, I think, probably close to a thousand students out. So it was terrific. They enjoyed it. Yeah, highly recommend it. But not a miracle worker, so stop that in nice and tight for me. You guys are not I'm only joking, Kevin. He's a good sport. Oh, it's easy. Hold up the handcuffs. Just like home. Okay. <laughs> you gotta be gentle as the key. Gentle under. That's it. That's, do it again. It's kind of girly. I like it. It's perfect. <laughs> So we've got an interesting show planned for you here this morning. There's going to be some storytelling, there's going to be some video, there's going to be a little comedy, there's going to be a little bit of magic. Now about as fast as you can say, mosquitoes suck, the coins, the coin vanishes and reappears. And the message here today in this show is that little things do indeed make a big difference. I, I had a blast at the assembly today. And and to see the enthusiasm today with the crowd, the kids laughing, involved, hands going up, and, and especially in the second assembly where they're throwing money. I mean, that was hilarious. We got, I don't want you to get in trouble, big guy. You look like one of the kids from South Park, anyways. <laughs> Come on up here, we'll find out who we got. What's your name? Mrs. Yonkers. Remember you, sir? Very popular at this school, I see. What is it? Uh, cotton ball? That's my underwear. Okay, I'm gonna give you the cotton ball. <laughs> and I'm now going to presuppose that you are not wearing any. Which both frightens and concerns me. Now look, I give you each a card. If I gave you the card that you wrote on, if I gave you the card that corresponds to the underwear you're wearing, please return to your seats now. And what we're going to see in a second is the cell right here. There's a little bit of action going on inside the cell. That's a little bacteria called plasmodium. It's said that Alexander the Great died from malaria, which pretty much meant the demise of the Greek Empire. Believe it or not, George Washington was said to have had malaria. Abraham Lincoln had malaria. At one time, the concern was so great in Washington, D.C., that there was a scientist who wanted to build a wire mesh all around the city. If you don't think that little things can make a big difference, there's an African proverb that's quite marvelous. And basically the African proverb says, try sleeping in a room with one mosquito. Thank you very much for coming. Have a great day. So you spread the net, the Mosquito Suck Tour. It, it's not just about raising money anymore. It's not just about UNICEF. It's about changing lives. And it's starting here in Canada. It's bringing this country student by student by student together, one kid at a time, school at a time, community at a time, coast to coast for a common cause. And that's fantastic. 
Welcome to Malaria TV, and I am the Malaria Hunter. Here we see the native habitat of malaria, red blood cells floating along on a microscope slide. Oh, what's that over there? It is. This is an immature parasite inside a red cell, and the little bit that appears to be spinning around is actually the stomach of the parasite, where it's pulling in hemoglobin from the red cell around it, digesting it. It takes the iron part and produces a little crystal, which is what you see dancing in this image. However, the protein part is used to produce more parasites. Oh, what's that over there? Yes, this is a mature parasite. By this point, the one parasite is turning into 40 little parasites that will then pop out of the red cell, swim a short distance, go into a new red cell, and complete the cycle. This affects up to half a billion people a year with up to 3 million deaths and you can go from being fine on one day to three days later being dead because the parasite has invaded a large number of red cells, popped them, and produced toxins that then poison its host.